on rock. Hello folks, welcome to Yardabelle's Kitchen and this is Taste Buds. Today we have a very special guest in our kitchen. Yes, our brother Watson is here from down by the church and he is making a little variation on our regular steam fish. We're going to curry down some fish, right guys? And we're doing snapper fish today. Yes. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take our fish and wash it. Make sure it says properly clean. You see I'm using lime. You can use a little bit of vinegar and you want to clean out the guts the inside make sure you take out all of them little stuff you know belly properties yes 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 and make sure you clean your fish nicely the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna season our fish and as you can see brother watson is adding some garlic powder and we have already added a little bit of sea salt and that's what we're doing along the sides of the fish we make sure cut some slits and so we can get the seasoning inside of the slits as well are the, the little the little slices we're using um, black pepper and we're also using garlic powder and salt and you want to do that with your fish right away now we have in the interest of time we had already gone ahead and cut up some seasonings so let me tell you what we use now we use onion we use scallion we use garlic we use ginger we use chili pepper and we use a little bit of uh, an ingredient called galangal which is something like ginger but it has a different little flavor and uh, we cut those up and we're gonna add them to the fish at this time pardon the hands guys sorry about the hands blocking the fish but you know it go already in a yard belly kitchen so the next thing we want to do is make sure that we get these ingredients locked inside of the fish now i didn't have any scotch bunny pepper so i'm using some asian chili pepper you can use scotch bunny pepper as a matter of fact at this stage you can add whatever you so choose to make it your special special curry fish all right and we're using snapper fish at um guys Whichever fish you find, you know, you can use it. Now you want to get these ingredients on the inside of the fish, guys, so that when the, the fish is cooking in the pot, it sets nice and all these flavors marry well. So you want to layer the fish them in the pot. Now we have four fish and we have to make sure that the whole of them fit in my Dutch pot. So this is what you want to do. You want to just start to layer your fish in the pot. And as you can see, we already have the pot on the fire. Yes, yes, guys. And we're just basically gonna start adding our other things now to make the pot nice, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Tell you, tell you, tell you. So now we're just making sure that all the ingredients have been added. And once it's added, now we start to uh, add to that. First thing we're gonna add is our curry. Yes, our island curry. And we're using better pot curry, guys. So you know it got ready. Good quality curry. And I'm not using a whole lot of powdered ingredients to this one, guys, because this is really and truly just a variation on steam fish. So we just make sure we have enough curry in there to make the pot nice and, you know, blend. Yeah, man. And this is Brother Watson's recipe and format. So, guys, you work with it, right? Yes, yes, yes. Beggars are not choosers. And when somebody come at your house and I, give, and I make sure say them look for something, you have to just accept it and make sure say nice and everything so we're just gonna add some butter and the next thing we're gonna do is once the butter is in we're gonna turn on the stove and let this thing start to permeate yes that's my new word that's a, my own invention permeate the last thing we're gonna add to it is some fish tea and the fish tea again is for additional flavor and we're just gonna use mainly the powder from the fish tea. 